Hey there, this is DevOps, DevOps.com. Are you guys struggling with uh, thinking that maybe, you know, you don't have what it takes to build a business? Well, in this short, in my short blog post, I'm going over several different things, several excuses that people use for not being successful and hey, why that's just plain bunk, all right? And the first one that I've heard, you know, when, when I was at uh, No Excuses, I met all kinds of people. I met people that were a little, that, that were a little older that would say, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just too old for this. I don't look right to do this. Nobody will believe me. There's other people that are too, that, that said, well, you know, I'm just too young. You know, I have no credibility. Nobody will believe me. Um, so on and so forth. Okay. Um, disabled. Um, there's a gal in wheelchairs. Uh, a, a wheelchair, um, there's various things that, that you have going on. So anyway, I'm going to handle several of these in this blog post. I'm getting ready to put out some great trainings for you. Um, but this one here is one that I noticed an awful lot at the uh, at my uh, seminar is people were struggling with different things. So I'm going to help you out here. Number one, um, too old. Okay. Um, and let me, let me put put this out there. Most entrepreneurs don't achieve success until they're past 40 or 50. Okay. So the too old thing just doesn't quite fit. So a few people that were too old that started up on businesses. And here I've got, got one. Uh, we all know Colonel Sanders, you know, he was over 65 when he started. Um, but there's a ton more. I'm gonna have a link in my blog post, something that you can can look up. Um, and that uh, that would be you know several several different uh, different ones that were out there. He's one of them. Uh, Lynn Brooks. Uh, what is it? Later Life Story Contest contest won this at at the Center for Productive Productive Longevity with her story about quitting a job. And didn't like that she didn't like at age 59 and getting laid off from a new job less than a year later. So she set up her own nonprofit business. It's Big Apple uh, Greeter and as a welcome visitor program for New York City. All right. And we have Ray Cochran. Um, he was 60 when he started up. Uh, he he had. Uh, uh, you know, like I said, you can go ahead and go into the stories of some of them. I'm not going to go into all of them. Harlan Sanders, uh, we know about Kentucky Fried Chicken. Um, there's just a ton of them. Jean Dowell, age at startup. She was 80 years old. Um, she she uh, decided to found uh, Green Buddha Clothing with her daughter and again, you know, became successful at 80 years old. Okay. So the too old thing just doesn't fit. And there's a lot of uh, network marketing stars that are up and coming stars that are older network marketing stars. So, you know, that just doesn't fly. Um, how about too young? Okay. Uh, Russell Brunson, click funnels, you know, take a look at his story. Um, he's was, you know, started out as a very young entrepreneur. Cesar Rodriguez, he's the number one. Cesar Rodriguez with Tanya Eliza is the number one earner in his primary network marketing company. Now, he was a 21 year old broke college student. He literally prospected 20 people. He didn't recruit anybody. Um, he finally decided, hey, you know what? I, I might need some skills. I might need skills. And, I, and I'll tell you, it doesn't matter with you, what age you are, you got to have the skills. So he literally moved out uh, where his mentor was and, and followed his mentor around and shadowed him and learned how to build a network marketing business. That's Cesar Rodriguez. Um, you've got uh, Palmer Lucky, uh, video game virtual reality. He's estimated net worth of 700 million. Um, he's in, in his 20s. Okay, Evan Spiegel and Bobby Murphy. That's the youngest billionaires in the world. That's with Stripe. Um, you know, like I said, Russell Brunson. Uh, I've got links to all of these, by the way, if you want to look at their stories. Um, how about disabilities? Okay. Well, me personally, when I was a kid, I got kicked in the face by a horse 
And, you know, that's the pirate thing, right? Never been on a ship, but it's the pirate thing. What happened is, you know, it crushed my cheekbone. It was broken several places. It healed funny. Um, I just had a lot of problems with it. Now, I could have decided at that point to have a pity party and sit back and never achieve anything. Um, but no, you know what? You still make a difference. You're going to make a difference in someone's life because they're going to look at you and they're going to say, hey, man, you know what? Yeah, <laughs> You know, that person's overcome that. Wow, maybe I can do it too. And they can, okay? They can overcome it. Um, here's some other ones that have had disabilities. Um, okay, so we have uh, Richard Branson. He was dyslexic. There's a lot of dyslexic people. In high school, he was told that he would either go to prison or become a millionaire. Okay, so and he's incredibly, incredibly successful. Peter Knight, he started check-free. Uh, because of his, he started his own company because of his ADD. You know, he just, he, he knew in a corporate world, he just wouldn't make it. Uh, the CEO of Kinko's uh, as well was dyslexic and ADD. Um, you've got John Chambers, CEO of Cisco, was dyslexic. Uh, Bram Cohen, um, that's, he had Asperger's syndrome, and he's the creator of BitTorrent, uh, it's a technology that lets people transfer huge amounts of information. You have David Nealman, ADHD, creator of JetBlue, that's an e-ticketing system. Uh, Charles Schwab, you know, we all know Charles Schwab, right? Was dyslexic as well. Um, you have Tommy Hilfiger, you know, he's the one that makes all the designer clothes. Uh, Steve Jobs, you know, we know Steve Jobs. You know, founder, co-founder of, of uh, Apple. Um, you have Bill Hew Hewlett. He's the co-founder of Hewlett Packard. Dyslexic. Steve Jobs, by the way, was dyslexic. Henry Ford was also dyslexic. Uh, Ted Ted Turner was learning disabled. Uh, Nick is a Vujicic. He was born without arms and legs. Okay, he's a very rock star evangelist. Um, he has also has two kids. He has two two uh, kids, and so you can check him out. Um, add to that um, Jennifer Brickard. She's a sister of Dominique Mociano. Born, she was born without legs, and she became the tumbling champion in the state of Illinois. All right. Okay. Now, let's go into broken homeless type people. You know, you can't you, you can't build a business without money, right? Okay. Well. Get rid of that one real quick. Danny Johnson. She was. Um, she had been married. She she made a first million. Got married. Uh, within two weeks, her newly married husband took all of her money, and so left her broke and homeless in a car. And she was making phone calls on a payphone. Okay, right. She is now, you know, multiple like eight figure earner. Ray Higdon. Okay, now Ray Higdon started his business when he was in personal foreclosure. Um, his girlfriend was just working to pay the utility bills to keep them from having the utility shut off. You, you know, this is one thing I you know want to mention. Do you think these people are telling these stories just because, oh, you know, that's a good story. You know, let's put that one out there. No, no, they lived this. They lived this stuff. They had to learn how to build a business when they were broke and didn't have the funds to do that. Okay, Vince Reed, another one. You know, VinceReed.com, RayHigdon.com. Vince Reed didn't have his first sale until he was, you know, after being in the business for six months. He was also in foreclosure, and he also had to turn his car back in. It got repoed. Um, you know, he went without a car when he was in his business for two years. Okay, this, this man really lived that. They lived through that stuff. Okay, so yeah, you can't build a business when you're broke. They did. Misha Wilson, another one. Um, you know, look up these people. Child abuse. Okay, now, some of you are sitting here, well, I can't because I was abused as a, as a child. Well, look at Oprah Winfrey. I mean, what was her excuse? She was abused as well as a child. Uh, Christine, Christina Aguilera, Sally Field, Jane Fonda, Tina Turner, Tyler Perry. I mean, the list goes on and on. 
Um, I've, I've got a lot of links in my blog posts if you want to check that out, if you're really struggling with something like that. But anyway, here's what I want to say. Number one, if you've got a problem, own it. All right. Uh, what I mean by that is, you know, hey, you know, I'm, I'm broke because I just went through a divorce. You know, my ex-husband, ex-wife uh, literally took everything. So now I'm broke and, and whatever. Well, first of all, you married them. Okay. You did that. Um, so you're broke. You know, what can you do about it? own that problem. Don't, don't just spend your whole life in the next 20, 30 years saying, you know, Hey, my, my, uh, you, you know, I'm, I'm broke because of my ex-wife 30 years ago. <laughs> I mean, really? No, no. You own that problem. Danny Johnson, you know what? Her, 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 she was broken, homeless in a car, but she owned her problem. And she looked at, Hey, what can I do to turn this around? She paid off the debt. She paid off the debt that was created. You can too. And you should, okay? So that's the first thing I'm gonna say is own the problem. Number two, you can do it. Quit using the excuse that you're too young, too old, too, you know, this and that, disabled, whatever you happen to have, quit using that excuse. You know, go for no excuses from yourself, except nothing but no excuses. You know, as soon as you start creating an excuse, say no, no, <laughs> no excuses. And guess what? You're going to turn it around. Start doing the stuff that you think you, you, that you know that you need to do to be successful. Anyway, guys, I hope you got value from this. I hope that helps you out. Look forward to my new trainings that I'm getting ready to create for you. It's pretty exciting. And we'll see you in the next video.